Hey guys, how's it going? This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com. In this video, we're going to be doing the gerund slicing challenge. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that word right. I didn't learn grammar in the United States. Learn it back home. Anyways, we have done the reverse slicing challenge, the artwork zebra index challenge, the switch case challenge, the uppercase challenge, the lowercase challenge. If you haven't done it already, go check out those videos from before. And if you want to do this challenge live, you can do it right below this video on my website. The coding thing is right there. If you're on YouTube, there's a link in the description or just feel free to watch it right where you are. Okay, so let's get this thing, let's get this show on the road. Uh, gerund infinitive. So basically what this challenge says uh, for you to do is if I gave you something like building, anything that ends with an ing, right? I can't think of any examples that end with an ing. Um, well, anything that ends with an ing, what we do is we return it as, like for example, if you if I give you building, you return to build, right? If I give you billing, you give me back to bill, okay? Oh yeah, here's another one, singing. If I give you singing, you give me back to sing. If I give you dancing, you give me back to dance. Oh, well, that's actually a little complicated. We'll keep it simple. Uh, but for so for bill, you should be able to do that. And for building, you should be able to give me the right thing. All right. So let's jump into that. And if I give you something that's not a gerund infinitive, then just give me back that's not a gerund. Okay. If something is not a gerund, just say, you know, that's not a gerund. So this literally, the string on line eight is what you should give me back. Okay. So let's get into this. So how would you do it? Take a stab at it, actively code this up, try, comment your solution below. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna solve this. And I'm doing this live, so you guys are gonna hear my thinking process, okay? All right, so if I get a string and the last three letters of it are ing, how would I do it? I would say Here's how I would do it. This, I'm thinking of the simplest way to do it. So I would slice it. Can I slice it from negative three all the way to the end? I think that's uh, possible. Let's go and check it out. So what I do is I open up my command line and then I, I try things in here as well. Uh, so let's try it. Let's get hello and I'll try to index it like this and it works right from negative three all the way to the end and what if it was something like this it still works so great so I'll say go from negative three uh, all the way to the end and if it's equal to ing right then what we do is we return that string we return to plus, let's put a little space here, right? Accounting for this space. And we say string from, can we do from start up until negative three? That way this negative three isn't included in there. That's kind of weird. I think that should work. So what I would do is I open up my terminal. If you're on Windows, open up your idle. If you're on iMac, uh, if you don't have idle, which it just means you haven't installed Python. So install Python, first of all, or just code it in the thing below and hit that play button, right? This play button, and then it should work for you. Now let's go back here and uh, let's try this thing here, right? So I'm gonna paste it and I'm gonna replace this with building. Let's see what it gives me. What's the error? Oh yeah, duh. To build. Okay, that actually looks like it works. That was surprisingly good how I was able to solve it. And you'll be able to say that too when you can solve these coding challenges. <laughs> That's a bonus. All right, so I have to build. And if it's not something that ends with ing, right? So we can say else, we will say I'm too lazy to type, so I'll copy this guy from here and I'll paste it. 
and just wrap it because it's a string. And this should work. Let's give it a try. Okay, building. We got to build. For build, we got that's not a gerund. All right. Hopefully that was insightful and awesome for you guys to watch and do it live with me. I know a lot of you watching got tripped up on that, and that's okay. It just means you need to practice, think about it a little bit more. And what I would do if I was you, when I can't solve something, I try to forget about the solution, right? I come back to it a day later and try to just do it from scratch, but not just by like randomly putting in random things in the code. I'll take a piece of paper and step through everything and see if I can truly understand it and gain a deep understanding of what it was. Hand waving is single-handedly the most disruptive thing you can do to your uh, improving your coding skills. And by hand waving, I mean it's like, oh, that's just simple. I got it. I got it. Of course, after you see the solution, it's so simple, it makes sense. Remember, hindsight is twenty twenty, But when you try to code it, right, uh, um, completely from scratch and uh, from a blank canvas, it's going to be more difficult. And that's generally how you start off coding anything, any even big project, right? You start off from a blank canvas. So that's why it's good to practice. Like, come back to it a day later. Don't hand wave and just go, oh, I got it, I got it. If you messed it up, go back to the drawing board, come back a day later, and try to do it from scratch, okay? All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love your guys' faces off, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.